It's social media tip time. Welcome to the first in a series of five social media tips for your Walk MS team. Today's topic is Facebook, and I'm Karen Kirpin from the KBuzz, and I'm thrilled to present this to you today because both Facebook and Walk MS are two of my favorite topics. So let's talk about Facebook. Uh, most of you have got to know about Facebook by now because guess what? Over 350 million active users are on Facebook. That number is astounding. I think if Facebook were a country, it would be the third largest country in the world. Um, but the reason that Facebook is so important to you uh, for your walk and for your team is that every time somebody interacts uh, about your walk or about your team, whether it's through your personal profile or if you set up a fan page for your walk team, it shows up as a clickable link to all of your friends. And when one of your friends interacts, it shows up as a link to all of their friends. So what it does is it takes a conversation and it takes a movement and it makes it very, very easily shareable. Every interaction on your Facebook page encourages instant virality. And guess what? This is the quickest, easiest platform to share news, information, events, pictures, all of which can be related to your walk. It's a great platform for fundraising, for connecting, for sharing, and for really organizing excitement around your walk team. Okay, so let's talk about the first tip, getting started. So most of you have a personal profile, I'm sure, and if you do, you probably have a profile picture. Well, did you know that your profile picture doesn't have to just be a square? It can be a little bit longer and be a rectangle, and that's called an optimized Facebook profile picture. And what that does is allow you to put your personal picture behind an image that is for walk. So this shows people, shows all of your friends that you are connected to this movement and that you're dedicated to this movement. And we've provided this artwork for you. So what you do is you simply place your picture in the placeholder, and you'll see instructions for this with the image. Um, you put it there, and then you upload it as your Facebook profile picture. And that allows you to showcase your dedication to walk. It allows you to really show that you're looking for people to walk with you, that you're looking for people to give to you, that you're looking for people to sponsor you, that you're really serious about this movement. And it's a great opportunity, and, and it allows you to still showcase your personal self, which is really what Facebook is all about, sharing with your community, and also show you know something that's really important to you, which is the walk. Let's talk about tip number two, get connected. So when you're in your Facebook profile, I want you to look on the top right-hand corner of your screen, and you'll see a search bar. Try typing in multiple sclerosis or MS or MS walk, and you're going to see some really phenomenal things. For instance, here I, I typed in multiple sclerosis, and you'll see there are 114 fan pages around multiple sclerosis. But did you know that there are over 3,500 groups around multiple sclerosis? So these are groups that have congregated around a common interest. Don't you think that these groups are ripe for knowing information about your walk team, especially when you really pick through those groups, right? You're not going to message 3,500 groups. But you're going to look for groups that are in your area, that are relevant to you, that are interested in your story. Maybe if your mom has MS, for instance, my mom has MS, and I were looking through, and it was about you know, daughters, against, if I found a group that was daughters against multiple sclerosis, they'd be pretty apt to hearing about my walk team. I'm sure of it. So there's a really good opportunity to share with people who will support you. It's a great way to reach out beyond your own personal network. Let's talk about tip number three, get people talking. Whether or not you have a personal profile or you set up a fan page if you have a bigger team, the status is the most important thing that you'll do. When you update your status or your fan page's status, to talk about what you're doing, and people interact with that status, it shows up in the feeds of all of their friends. So think about that. Post daily status updates talking about your upcoming walk and about the cause. Consider asking questions in your status update, because when you ask questions, people respond. And when people respond, remember, that's the beauty of Facebook. That link shows up in the feeds of all of their friends. Joe commented on Carrie Kirpin's status with a link to it. 
So you see, it allows you to spread that message by asking questions or by writing status updates that are really shareable. It allows you to share that message. I hope that you can use some of these Facebook tips, and I look forward to bringing you tips about other networks in the future. Thanks, and have a great day.